Hey team, happy 2021. I want to kick off uh, the year with one of my uh, one of the tools that I've been using um, to be able to visualize data. Uh, this is actually some data that we took during a uh, student project. You can see that it's just comma delimited and we have a lot of stuff here and it would be great to be able to see the data uh, in a graph. And so I like uh, I'm a huge fan of Desmos. It makes it um, really easy to essentially take a bunch of data and just paste it in and see what it looks like. So what I can do is I can highlight all the data. I can go into an empty uh, empty field in the graphing calculator. So you can get here just by going to desmos.com slash calculator. You go to an empty column and just paste it in. So you get a bunch of stuff here. We don't want to just use this directly though. Uh, this is just graphing these three columns of data as if the first one is the x-axis and then these second columns are the, the y-axis, but I want to graph um, all three of these series with respect to time. So there are a couple ways that you can actually do this. Um, you can see well, we can we can look at the size of this array and we can see that this is an a thousand element list and I'm I'm reasonably sure that this probably is a limit that Desmos uh, puts into anything pasted in just to make sure that the amount pasted in isn't too much so we can see we have it a thousand elements so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the x-axis data that I want to use so I can do that by saying I want to make a new variable called t. And inside of this, I can just go from 0 up to 1,000. And actually just do 999 so that now we have 1,000 elements in our list. The next thing that I can do is I can create another set of points that combine this t variable as the x-coordinate or independent coordinate, independent variable and the uh, column of this table of values as the dependent variable or the, um, the y coordinate. And so I can do this by just creating a point and saying I want to make a series of points that is t and x1. And so to get that subscript you hit the uh, underscore 1 and we can see now that we do get a nice graph there. And if I turn these off, I can now play around with uh, the settings. And I, I am now looking at what this graph uh, appears, appears to be. So let's change the range. Let's maybe go out to 1,000 for the uh, t-axis or the x-axis. And then just looking at these numbers, maybe I want to go up to, so maybe be 300 or 400 possibly let's go to 400 and make the minimum zero and so now we can get a good idea of what that what that data looks like so I hope this is uh, useful to you and that you can use it whenever you need a quick look at the data um, data maybe you've collected it through an experiment of some sort um, and uh, Hopefully this, this helps you out. Thanks for watching.